Hey what's up everyone, it's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we applied uh, some troops to the gates, and also got some gear for, for a fight we're preparing to do here, against uh, the Gibdas that are attacking uh, Gerudo city here. So I guess we're gonna go and speak to the leader here, and say that we're ready for the fight. Are the preparations complete? They are. So we put two troops on the east gate, one on the north, which we also did a block on, and then we have nothing on the... I think the... Maybe the east gate we have nothing on, and on the west we have two troops. And I'm thinking I'm gonna solo, solo defend on the east. So hopefully I will play and not only watch the fight. Link! I'm curious about the voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm. Is it time? Yeah. So we have cannons on the north, um, north part here. Situation report. Large number of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we need to deal with this. Yeah, here is the part we have to carry on by ourselves. Here we have a barricade and uh, can cannons. And here we should have people. Two troops. <sighs> Buliara. They have the town surrounded. Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. Okay, let's go. Prepare yourself for battle that show them the true power of the Gerardo. Everyone, protect our chief, protect our town. Okay, so where is the... So this is this. I think this is the part we have no defenses on. Enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. Stop them. Yeah. Is this correct? But dude, why are you here? Boom. Oh, we can also. Shoot this directly, why not? Enemies are pouring out of the hive near the okay. gate too. Take them out. Yes, yes, yes. We will attack the Oh, it only opens up when they Let's wait for it to open up. There we go. Yes! That hive is out of Perfect. Back. And then just kill these quickly. Boom. Let's get to the north the part. Yeah, 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 yeah. No worries, no worries. We got this, we got this. Ah, oh, it's early. Oh, that's... That's too bad. Let's just wait for it to open up. Nice. Ah, oh, that's a bad miss. There we go. And then go to the west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, I'm on my way. What is these things? Ah, oh, it's just a sign. Let's do this bow. Where is the gate? It's this way. The enemies won't stop coming until we wipe out all the hides. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're soon there. Now it probably will close before I get a chance to shoot on it. Yeah. But we should Babel on the next one here. Enemies are nearing the center of town. Eliminate that the last of the hive. All we have to do now is clear out the rest of the gift zone. Was that the last? Now we have one in the air of above us. Somewhere. 
Where are you, dude? I saw your shadow. At least I thought I saw your shadow. So where do we have the last enemy? Oh! Damn, you're already in here. Hey, it was one flying dude. I, I saw... That's what I saw. <laughs> but I missed where it was. Sorry that you took damage. That's all the hives. Excellent, now take out the... Okay, so one monster left. On this side. Ah, it's over here for some reason. Not the cleanest uh, protection from my part. But to be honest, not the best protection on their part as well. Because <laughs> I needed to go and clean up all, all the gates. Uh, Link, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect that Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now. Now that we have wiped out the hives uh, that were surrounding the town. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connections to the sand. Maybe. Or maybe, maybe they are connected to the sand shroud. Uh, did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. And then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. Link. There's something you should see. Come down to the Muriel in the underground shelter. Oh, so now I get I'm allowed to enter, huh? Have I proven myself worthy or something? Uh, we should probably go and get all the loot first before we go down there. So I'm guessing. There's a lot of these. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go and check the north and East entrance as well. I saw one, but I missed it. I'm too lazy to go back a third time there. Not a lot of loot here, but some at least. Um, it's not worth it. Come on through. Thank you, thank you. This looks like a place they could hide something of value. Don't let travelers claim more. Huh? Any good loot here for me? Nope. And we go... And continue the quest line. That's what you're gonna say now to me, Risa. You fought well against the Gibdos. I'm glad you're alright. It would have been acceptable for an important guest of Lady Riju, even a vow, to be injured. You may pass through here, get some rest and recover after such a fierce battle. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm just uh, getting some loot. What are you doing? No, no need to be mad. I come in peace. Hello everybody. What do you have? Cold resistance, heat resistance... Amber air earrings, huh? One of the items sold by the Gerudo Jeweler. These earrings are made with amber. <sighs> that harness the power of, of the land to increase defense when the crew. Okay. Distractions, distractions. Did you say distraction? What? What do you want? I'm busy. 
right now, okay? I need to make sure the vow of my dreams hears, hears of my feelings for him. But how can I properly focus the positive energy or put the bottles in the water while this guy is loitering Aww. around? Get out of here! Scram! A bow? It's a bow! Hello? Ooh. Hey! So you're a special bow, aren't you? Otherwise the soldiers would have been arresting you right now. Ooh. So, why are you special? Aww. Hey Dahlia, you better not be speaking to that bow. Didn't Miss Ashi teach you the first rule about bow? For Zhang Wei, speaking with a bow will only invite misfortune. <laughs> it's a rather radical philosophy. I'm not talking to the bow, I'm just talking. I can't even see, so it's not my fault who comes walking by. <laughs> ah, that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Listen up, bow. You shouldn't go poking your nose into Gerudo life. You're free to come and go as you wish, but please don't disrupt the peace of our town. Okay, so I'm forbidden to speak with people here. That feels welcoming and uh, normal. But you I can speak to because you have a quest. Sarah. Fine. Sava. Ah. Oh, you must be that Vo everyone is talking about. Say, are Highland Vo interested in archaeology? I guess I am. Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I have finally deciphered this stelae. Ah. Is it these balls? Do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? Sure. If you insist. <laughs> First up, the steel over there on the left, it says... The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. Their secret will be expressed on six stelae. Stelae, I don't know how we should you should pronounce that. As for the Stella over there, on the right, it says The seven heroines who protected Gerudo An eight channels and guides the powers of the seven An eight channels and guides the power of the seven, okay? Hmm. I doubt you know this, being in Highland Bow But we Gerudo have believed in the hero hero heroines for a long, long time ah. They are said to protect and guide the people in times past Unfortunately, I have found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. Mm. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic figures. Some argue for revering rev rev <laughs> all seven as a collective and others for worshipping each one as an indiv indiv individual. I can't read today. Certain rabble-rousing contraries they also put a lot of long and hard words in this uh, specific talk I'm doing at the moment, or communi- I'm just gonna be quiet now. Uh, certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim there were not seven, but one. Or eight. If there is one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. Uh, that's true. But these stelae definitely support the theory of eight. Okay. Eh? An incredible discovery, isn't it? I guess it is. I could stop here and rightly say that I've changed the face of archaeology. But I, if I found the other four still, still eyes, uh, who knows what else I might learn about the heroines. I wonder too about this orb that I found while searching for the still eye. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> if I gave a presentation on all this, I'd be a star of the archaeology society. <sighs> But I have not been able to find any stelae beside these two, since there's nothing like them on the surface. The other must be underground somewhere. Maybe in the ruins we found uh, outside the town. How I wish I could see the text inscribed on the, those stale, stelae, even just a picture would serve my purpose. Okay, so we should snap four pictures. Here, I want some arrows. 10 for 35, that's a mm -hmm. good price actually. So let me take them all. Because usually it's 5 for 20. And here, I think we have enough for at least one upgrade. If I remember, yeah. And we need more HP now, because sometimes I get one-shotted. And also, before I forget, let's just exit that 
conversation. I think I saw one of these balls just outside here. Let me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me out. I am gonna go and check that just before I forget. Because I saw a spear here. And isn't that one of them balls as well? I think it is. Oh my god. Good job. Can we pick it up? Let's bring that to her and see if that does anything. Open the door, please. Look what I bring you. Mm. Learn the truth about the heroines, I need to find out their four style. The shelter isn't so big and yet it, I still can't find them anywhere. It's possible they were destroyed or altered when the town was constructed. I wish I could see the text prescribed on those taleas. Or even just a picture. Yeah, so I guess... <laughs> but you told me something about these balls as well. I guess they have a purpose. I just have to find what purpose. So let's explore this little underground town for a bit. Just to find what exists here. Is this some love school or so, from some kind? Yeah, this... Uh, and are they practicing, like, kissing here? It's a bit of a cult feeling, this town. Like, only females and... Training on kissing and everything. It's a bit weird. I was like, this looks like a Stella, and if you... Yeah, yeah, see, see, see? If I line up... I'm gonna show what I'm talking about also. I'm talking about these two right here. Exactly. Nice. That's one done, huh? Three to go. This is some type of... Animal... Housing place. So long as the sand shroud is around, we can't rent out any sand seals. At this rate, my job might evaporate. Maybe I should start looking into becoming an attendant to Lady Regis' beloved Sansil, Patricia. Right now, Pada is looking after Patricia, but she's a soldier too. So I wouldn't be shocked if she had to help with all the strange monsters. If I'm serious about changing job, maybe this is my chance. Maybe it is. Never get a, let a good uh, scandal go to waste, I guess. <laughs> What's under here? Nothing. Something. Something, but I don't know what. Or maybe that was just the sound it made when it was done. What the hell is this? Ah, oh, here is the ball thing, it's okay. A lot of weird things in this little place. Okay. Please tell me I should be able to... What do you think you're doing? I was in the middle of studying that. It may be an object of vast historical significance. Until I unlock its mysteries, whatever they are, I don't want anyone to touch it. Okay, can I touch my ball then? Which I brought here. And also phrasing on that. Okay. Boom. So this is the second orb. I guess you want it in your hand. Okay. Nice. Can I talk to her now and say that what I, that I know what to do with the balls? Here's a second of these pillars. Oh, wrong. There we go. And 
Snap a quick pick on that as well. Boom. Oh, so this is just... <laughs> keep going, huh? Valley of the Silent Statues. Maybe this is not the way we should... Go right this second. Let's just talk to her. How strange. Nothing like going to stretch your legs and ending up in a stranger's place. <laughs> Everything looks the same down here. It would be so easy to get turned around. I wonder if the people who originally made this place got lost in, in it all the time too. Uh? Hey, what do you want? Were you lurking in the shadows there? Eavesdropping on what I was saying? Oh, you're that vow that everyone has been talking about, right? If I were younger, I might have been surprised to see you here. But at my age, well, very little surprises me. Disappointed that I wasn't shocked and aghast at the very sight of you, huh? Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm feeling a little parched. So maybe something to drink at the canteen. Okay. You do you. This place is huge though. <laughs> what the hell? We will backtrack to this, I promise. I feel like we're really not... We aren't done up here. We have to talk to Riju also. What do you want? Potta! I guess it's true. I heard the guards talking about it. But I still didn't believe Ovo was actually here. I'm impressed. You made it all the way here. Through the sand shroud. Oh. Did you rent a sand seal to get here? I didn't, but let's say I did. Sarkso, in that case, you must have stopped at the sh shop my mom, mom runs near the entrance to the desert. My mom and I are in the business of trading sand seals and renting them out to folks. Uh, the sand shroud has made it far too dangerous to go ab above ground right now, so my shop is temporarily closed. Uh, but if you got questions about sand, sand seals, I'd be happy to answer them. Okay. I don't at the moment. Let's go. Because I guess she is there. So let's go here first. Hey! Hey, hey. Aklet. Isn't that a dude? Is this the prison? <laughs> oh. This is the jail. Yeah, I yeah. am. Even though you have special permission to be in Gerudo Town, I still won't let you pass this point. Really? Really, the only way into the jail is to break our rules. Vo are normally not allowed inside our town. The one in jail broke that rule, so he's locked up. And even though you have permission to be here, if you break these rules, you'll join him in jail. I wanna break the rules. Is this the... The club? Vasa. Vasak. Oh, you must be the Vo everyone has been talking about. Now, normally I wouldn't have anything for youngsters like you, but... I've heard a new Ve is going to be coming to town sometime soon. And that new sparked a fire in me. I came up with a special version of my signature drink. It's one everybody from Vevi to Vaba can enjoy. <sighs> However, I can't get my hands on what I need to make it while we're stuck here. And I don't want to forget the recipe. Hmm, when is this Sandstrom going to clear up anyway? You will get your drink soon. I guess I have to clear up the sand first. A man, yes, that's me. The spa plan is available. I will take some butter. I just don't get it. What don't you get? Hey, you're a vow, aren't you? So the rumors were true. There is a vow in town. You don't look like the Vo dummies from the Vo and you class, though. But I guess you look like how I imagine a Vo looks. Anyways, I'm Pearl. Nice to meet you. Oh. This is Aklet. She is a Vi who became my sister recently. Well, I mean, not like my blood-related sister. But I think of her like she's family. <laughs> By the way, my actual older sister is a scholar. Isn't that incredible? I think that I become a scholar too when I grow up. You do that. Ah, ah you're a boy. Just like Bota. daddy. What the? 
Uh, do you want wanna see the secret map too? Vo person, yeah. It shows the store where mommy works. Mommy's job is a secret. That's why this is a secret map. Let's see. There are the fruit store and there's the jewelry store. Mm, what was this moon part again? Into, isn't the moon part uh, the melons? Let's see, there's a fruit store. And mm, what's the moon part again? So this is a map, huh? Did you come in from there? Melon shop. I don't know what she wants. I'll take some oil. Thank you. And what do you want? Hey, don't look now, but that's a Vogue watching us, right? I think you're right. But I've just started with the Vogue and you class, so I'm not sure what to do about it. Well, for now, pretend not to notice. I've never been this unwelcomed to a place. Can I destroy this? It was the first the jewelry store. First the jewelry store. Then Melon. Melon was that one. I have no clue. Let's just go here. Ah. Damn. There is a dummy to hit. Okay. Hello. Red pillars and light. Oh, Link. You came. Of course. Look at the mural on this wall. It is thought to have been painted by ancestors of the Gerudo. I guess, is it like in the middle there is some type of portal here in Gerudo? And then you have like three pillars that you have to activate or something, maybe? It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. And perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also... Besessed, beset by some gra great disaster. Anyways, the writing on the mural says, mm. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. Mm. That mysterious voice that spoke to us, its word rem reminded me of this mural. Mm. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discover its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. The vast sea, I guess, is, is the sand. Um, so we're gonna stand on the throne up here, uh, and I guess we're gonna see three pillars, and go and do something with those. And that will make us open some type of portal, maybe. And then we get to the temple. I'm not sure. Here is one. I guess we have snapped a picture on three, so it's one left that we haven't found. And I guess it must be this way, because that's the only way we haven't found one of them all. Let's be a bit more thorough here. This shop doesn't even make sense for me. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. What is the moon? I thought the melon was the moon, but that's a melon, yeah. So the moon part, shouldn't that be the shop with... Um, That's the shop straight to right after the entrance. Mm -hmm. And that's the melon shop. Huh? So I guess the moon must be this. Can I talk to you? Wow. 
Vasak. Vasak. Are you surprised to see such a hip shop being run by someone my age? I heard the new big thing is attaching all kinds of stuff to arrows before you shoot them. As a merchant, I got to, to embrace the popular trends with open arms. Oh. However, under no circumstances will I introduce a vow to my granddaughters. Vow bring nothing by m but misfortune to young Gerudo. Okay. But where is the last one though? One, two. Okay, let's talk to her, because now we have three pictures at least. Uh, to learn the full truth about the heroines, I must find four more Stale. Or if I saw a picture on of the text on each st Stella, that could work just as well. Here you go. What? You found a Stella? Show me. Wow. What does this one say? Let's see. The seven heroines protect the Gerudo with the powers of heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility, and compassion. Hmm, wow. yes. This legend is well known, but it had never been verified. Wow. Until I came along, that is. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm curious about the text inscribed on the Stalia. Did you perhaps find any? Here you are. Mm. What does this one say? Let's see. The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their spirits rest within the land of Gerudo. So the spirits of the seven heroines are hidden within the Gerudo region. Confirming that, that these spirits are not legend or rumor, but real, is by itself an enormous breakthrough. Ah. I'm curious about the text inscribed on the Stalia. Do you have, have any? I have one more. Mm. Let's see, it says... The seven heroines to protect the Gerudo, when their power return to them, the Shrouded Eight will be known. If the seven heroines' powers return, we can meet the Shrouded Eight. But that must mean there really was an eight heroine. I don't, I don't believe it. This changes everything. I'm curious about the text inscribed on the Stalia. Did you perhaps find any? Here you are. Did we find four? Maybe we did. Oh, yeah, no. So it's one left. I was like, did I forget that I found the last one? Uh, it has to be to the right here. Maybe it's inside the prison. Yeah, it is. So I need to break the law to be able to snatch a pick on that, or can I... I really have to go to prison, huh? And how do I do that? Do I talk to you, maybe? You must be that man. I mean, Vo, that everyone is talking about. It is so unusual to see a man here. So you really did get special permission to be in here, huh? All the same, you should still be on your best behavior. You wouldn't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That's what normally happens when men come here. Okay, so how can I get to jail? <laughs> like what happened to that guy over there? But I don't think you have anything to worry about, as long as you behave. Anyway, this is important. Since you've been allowed in town, you absolutely have to try the spa plan at Hotel Oasis. I guess the spa plan is a big no-no to use. The owner of the place, Roma, has a special technique that is all the rage. Originally, I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Now I work here as an assistant. The spa plan that Ulu offers is reasonably priced and a good option too. But well, just keep in mind that it's discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. Okay. Basa. Basa. You're the chief's guest, right? Since it's a special occasion, would you like to try my spa plan? I used to run a shop on the surface, but... What with the sand shroud and then those monsters appearing, the guards told me to evacuate. I had six months worth, worth of reservation books, but obviously those haven't been happening. I'm a bit out of practice. Aww. But good news for you, I guess. You can rest, or you can take advantage of the spa plan without having to wait. How about it? Do you want to rest here? Give me the spa plan, then. <laughs> and wake up in the morning. Oof, look at all these scars. You must have fought a lot in your life. Don't worry, I'll help you recover. It sounds a bit sus. <laughs> that sound didn't make it better, <laughs> to be honest.
Blood Moon. Thank you, but I wanted to get thrown in jail. What? A bow? No way. Sound alarm guards. What's that? You have special permission from the chief? Well, that explains that. And sorry for shouting. Wait, maybe a vow could endure my spa plan practice. Okay, mister, if you don't mind, would you consider helping me with my spa plan? I call it a practice, but I can guarantee you, guarantee that it will make your body feel good, as good as new. Don't worry about it. But, and this is what I'm still working on. If I get things just right, you feel a boost of energy, just like the owner's spa plan. Eh, I guess I will take it. Until noon, because I just slept all night, so let me sleep for a couple of hours more. That sounded a bit sus as well. Sava, how was that? So that didn't get me thrown in jail, huh? What will then? Oh. I already told you that the jail cell... That's the jail cell. The only way to end up here is by breaking the rules of Gruda Town. Yeah, so what are the rules I have to bre break? <laughs> yeah, I know I will join him in jail if I break the rules. But let me break them. Can I maybe put the fire out? Is that against the rules? Anyone mad? No one is mad? Why aren't you mad? to break the the rules and we need to find the last mm. thingy oh what's happening here so this is when we usually have the class for the younger students you might not know this but it's something of a rule in Gerudo town that young Vi don't speak with Bo since this class is for young Vi I can't let you come in you're more than welcome to come to the class in the evening it's just this one that is off limit the guards will have to lock you up if you get caught breaking our laws, and no one wants that, right? I want that. Can I, like, sneak in here? Oh, you again. I told you already that this class is for the younger students uh -huh. only. If I catch you again... Okay, nice. So catch me again, please. I don't care. Okay, listen. Sometimes people with a special connection can learn the subtle hints of their partner's words or action. They learn that this really means that, or that they can tell when their partner says they're fine, but they actually aren't. You and I do not have that kind of connection. When I say you cannot come into the daytime time class, uh? I mean you absolutely cannot come into the daytime uh. class. It is so exhausting when someone only hears what they want to hear. Uh? Guards, there's a bow broken in the law. But I heard you, but I wanted to get thrown in jail. I needed this for the picture. Oh! You scrundle. Breaking our laws. Maybe a little time in here will do you good. It will do me just fine. Thank you very much. Then we're gonna talk to this dude also. What? How long have you been in here? Wait, I recognize you. I've seen you walking around out there. I don't understand. You're a man, but they let you just come and go whenever you like. It's no secret that the Gerudo rigidly enforced their law that forbids men from entering town. So how come you're able to just walk around without causing a fuss? Huh? I mean, but dude, don't you see I'm in thrown into the jail also? <laughs> I barely crossed the th threshold between town and desert. They threw me in jail faster than I could say, no wait, not jail. They didn't give me a chance to explain anything at all. I just wanted to see the faces of my wife, Perda and our daughter Aklet. But and I'm only telling you this because you seem like a trust trustworthy sort. 
I've actually seen my daughter a few times, so on average, I'm more happy than upset. Even though they have me in this jail, I do see her occasionally. However, I haven't seen my wife even once. I know she was planning to work at a clothing store in Gerudo Town, but that's all I got. I'm sure my daughter can tell me more, but I haven't been able to talk to her yet. Pedra, Aklet, I know we're, we'll be together again soon. Okay. So I guess the daughter is the girl writing the thing on the wall over there. And now we need to get out, because I guess we can't just walk out here. Oh. I hope you realize that it's better to behave yourself. And in any case, the captain sent word to let you out. But i better not to see your rule-breaking face here again. Okay. We got what we needed from here. Let's go and talk to this girl. Eh? Thanks to you, only one Stela remains before we learn the truth about the heroines. Tell me if you find it. I would even be satisfied with a picture. Yep, here you go. What? You found another Stela? Show me. Let's see. It says, The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their power is housed within the seven spirits. Curious, does this mean that the seven heroines' powers have changed form? And now that they are gone? And what could that mean by spirits? It's these balls. Uh, what if spirits refers to the orbs like this one? Sauten, I believe I made a breakthrough. We did it. We know what all of this Stela says. Now to put it all together. The eight of them connect the other seven powers. Heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility and compassion. We have to return the seven heroine spirit to them to meet this eight. Hmm. And those spirits are all hidden within, within the Gurido region. That should about sum it up, right? Wow. It occurs to me that we there were similar drawings on the stale too. I think this orb must be one of the spirits that houses the seven heroines powers. You know, deep inside the eastern area, yeah we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> eh? Thank you. Oh. Can I take the orb also? Yep. Stop messing around. <laughs> I'm just doing what you told me to do. What? So, the second one should be here. Boom. Oh. <clears throat> oh, did you come here to do your own research? I see that the orb I gave you earlier is here now. Which means you must have carried it here for me. Nice work. Vo have their uses, eh? And that's not the only orb you brought, I see. This is big help. Sarkso, there must be hard, huh? Here, let me reward you. A melon, thank you. So you already tried placing an orb on the heroine statue, but according to you, nothing happened. The shape has me convinced uh, that they belong in the statue's arms. Guess we'll have to return the orbs to all seven of the heroines before we know. But this means we're one step closer to the truth about our mysterious eight. We could be on the verge of the biggest discovery in Gerudo history. Ah. A good place to start would be searching for other orbs like this one. One of uh, Patricia's prophecies might be what I need here, but she is out with Lady Ryu right now. Mm. And even if I did know where to find the orbs, I couldn't go get them as long as the sand shroud is in the way. What in the world can we do? Well, I guess I can go and fetch them. No. <laughs> now we just need to find the mother. Because this was the child, right? I don't think that was the child. So, Akaret, 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 or something like that. What's your name? Ardin. Oh, no, no, goodbye. And your Spera. Bye bye. Spera. Lorne. Oh, you saw something else. Uh, my daughter is attending the Vo and You class right now, so if you want to shop, do it quickly. Vo and You class. Mm. It's a class that Ashai teaches. It's for all the young Vi in Gerudo town, so they can learn about Vo. 
Class is held in a cave next to the goddess statue, but I tend the shop and can't walk my daughter Dahlia there. It takes after me though. Smart as they come, she can handle walking to and from class by herself. Yeah, it's like 5 meters. <laughs> you don't really need to... And you're also in a safe place. Um, yeah. Hey, don't even think about following her to class, understand? I will not follow her to class, I promise. Jules, Pritna, Romat, Ulu, Nali. Here's Akalit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mommy's job is a secret, that's why this is a secret map. Fruit store user, what's the moon party? So she was Akalit. What was the mother's name then? That I have already. Do I need to get to jail once again? Moon part. So this doesn't have the moon actually on them. Arrows. Who is this? Rima. I heard you took part in the efforts to repel those Gibdo things that were attacking the town, Sarksu. But it's not over yet, is it? There's been talk of a new training regime getting started again once the sand shroud clears up. I need to come up with something to help revitalize our noble guards, a training regime. I've only heard about it secondhand, but the guards have been training hard to improve their desert mobility. You see, some time ago, right when Lady Ryu became chief, Gerido Town faced a major crisis. Uh, after it was resolved, Lady Ryu swore that our military forces would be prepared to face any new threats that came along. <sighs> Unfortunately, that was a tougher task than anyone thought. Luckily, Le Lady Regis, close friend Princess Zelda, came to visit. The princess suggested that the Gerudo learn to be more in touch with the desert itself. This inspired Lady Ryu and her proposed and she proposed a new training regime. At last, that's yeah. what I heard. If you don't, if you want, you should. Uh, you could go chat with Sir Sudray. She should be up in the barracks, I believe. Where are the barracks? Prelly. Essa. The hell was the name on on the. Is it a side adventure? I don't think it is. Serenade to Kaisa? No, no, no. Nope. So I guess I have to get to... Oh, now the class is over. Maybe this is Ashai. Oh, I see. You're the special Vo that Guard was talking about. My name is Ashai. I'm in short of teaching the Vo and you class to, to the Gerudo. <laughs> have you set your heart on someone special? I have. <laughs> you don't hold back anything, do you? Most Vi value honesty in a vow. That's a good trait for you to have. <laughs> you're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you're interested. Vows aren't normally allowed in town, so it would be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Maybe you could come by in the evening. That class is for the older Gerudo. The dame time class is for the younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet a vow. So evening class, huh? Sunset. Ah! I hope we didn't miss the evening class now. Don't think so. I'm here. This is where I teach the class on Vo. It is only for students who are willing to engage. 
If you're interested, you're welcome to join, but you have to participate. C count me in. Hi. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Today we're going to have a very special lesson. We have a vow here with us. <laughs> Just try to relax and be your regular, normal selves when you're talking to him. All right. Oh. Nali, I know you can do this. This is some cringy shit. <laughs> Teacher, I... I can't. I can't look directly at his face. Oh. Damn, am I so ugly? Uh, that's okay, we can stop here for now. You will have to do something about that fear eventually. But I think once you muster the courage to face a vow, even just one time, your fear will vanish away from it. Away forever. I'm sorry. I imagine that was a bit unexpected, wasn't it? You see, she's never seen a vow in person. Uh, she's only seen them in drawings or in recreations like the vow dummies. I suspect that if you hid your face, it would be easier. It's probably just uh, too early to make eye contact while chatting. I hope you aren't feeling discouraged, though. It would be a wonderful if you visit the class again. Sarkso for taking the time today. Okay, so I need some face... Some some type of face mask. And that's not... Enough. I'm not sure that's enough either. Let's just take this. <laughs> this is where I teach... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm interested. Count me in. Hi. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Today we're gonna have a very special lesson. We have a vow here with us. <laughs> Just try to relax and be your regular selves, all right. Oh. Nali, you can do this. I believe in you. Oh. Hey, I can talk to him like this. So, um, hi, my name is Nali. <laughs> I make an amazing wildberry crepe, and I hope to share one I made with a vow someday. Oh. All right, that's enough. Ma. Amazing job, Nali. Uh, Vow are known to think with their stomachs sometimes, so mentioning your cooking was a good idea. They're especially susceptible to sweets, so well done with the wildberry crepe. Oh. Sarkso, to you as well. It was very kind of you to conceal your face for Nali. It seems like uh, that's just the thing she needed to get past her anxiety and talk to you. <laughs> you are more than welcome to return to the class in the future. Okay, let me return then. Is it the next uh, person Hi. now? <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh. Pritana, let's see what you can do. So now I probably... She will be too afraid and I need to change the gear, I guess. Um, Pritana. I can't do it. I think I need that drink from the canteen to give me energy. Are you okay? Let's not push you too hard today, all right? Let's, we'll stop oh. here. It's great when someone reaches outside their comfort zone to try something new, but no one should ever force that kind of breakthrough. I need to bring her a drink. Mm. I'm sorry if that worried or scared you. Bo are an uncommon sight to most of the Vi here, so hopefully you can forgive their reaction. <laughs> Don't be discouraged though, uh, it would be great to have you visit us again. And of course, Sarkso, for spending time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go to the bar. Yo, I want some drinks. Mm. Well, it's not like we can welcome a new Vi to town when this sand shroud is covering everything anyway. Uh, and I worked so hard to come up with a special version. However, However, I can't get my hands on what I need to make it while we're stuck here. And I don't want to forget the recipe. Then tell me the recipe, please. Okay, so maybe we can't continue on that quest line until we... Yeah, yeah, you can... Uh, 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 I guess we can't continue that quest until we have done the... Some parts on the main quest. So let's. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess let's go up to the. What do you call it? Like uh, the chair <laughs> where the king is sitting. 
this this chair right here. And also Buliara, oh. what do you want? Lady Ryu should be at the Muriel in the shelter. Last I saw her, she seemed a bit preoccupied. I know. So this is the thing I guess we're gonna shine the light on. And they told me we should be able, like standing on the back on this, we should be able to see <laughs> three lights, but I don't see sh anything. Maybe we need to get higher up. Why not go all the way up? And also if we like... What quest are we on at the moment? Ryu of Gruda Town. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me, I wait you. I didn't see any red lights behind the throne. Oh my god. Red lights, huh? Is it these? Because that's... I guess can... It's more yellow, but... Cannot be that. There's a shrine in the distance. Shrine. Like, we have one of those there, one there. That's all I can see. Okay, so let's just jump down again then. Because this gave us nothing. Here is the throne. So the back turned against the... Oh, look here. We can move this. Can we jump down on this? The hell? Okay. Ah. The hell? <laughs> Why? Writing on it says, standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You can hear my voice come to me. The sand shroud makes it impossible to explore the Gerudo desert. Except maybe if you could soar in the sky like a Rito. Okay. That actually was a good little... Where did I jump down also? Here. So fly like a Rito. Also... <laughs> such a weird thing. Maybe you could like... So you could enter it before... You were... Allowed in. So this is the throne, I would say at least. That it is. <laughs> With my back against here, we should see three red lights. But also fly like a Rito, so okay. We can fly like a Rito. Is this? Melons. I guess the easiest way to fly like a Rito is going from the sky to sky view tower and then gain some height. And also maybe... Maybe it's this actually. Three red lights. And then the middle. It might be. Because uh, usually it's been sky towers. So let me get to this. And this place is covered in snow. I was like, maybe we can just watch here, from here. <laughs> but that we cannot. And looking at the time, I know it's a bit mean of me. 
but we have actually approached the one hour mark so we have to end the episode here if you have enjoyed today's episode please consider liking the video it helps me a lot also subscribe so you don't miss out on the future episodes this has been 23 i will see you in the next video bye bye